Hi friends, I got these felt mats pack from Aero Garden. These are the same ones that comes with microgreens kit. These mats fit perfectly in microgreens kit and so easy to use. It works fine for microgreens like broccoli, kale, radish, etc. But it doesn't work very well for other microgreens like sunflower and pea shoots. Growing wheatgrass is also pretty difficult on this mat. I also think these mats are very expensive. They cost more than a dollar per mat. So I started experimenting to find alternatives. One best alternative I found so far is the cheesecloth. This works amazing for all microgreens and it is very economical. I found this one square yard cheesecloth for just four dollars on Amazon. I can easily make 20 grow mats out of this. So the cost of each mat will be about 20 cents. This is 100% cotton and unbleached cloth. So I think it is safe to use. Let me show you how exactly I use it. Just to make it easier, instead of cutting the exact mats like felt mats, I will cut one piece that goes onto both trays. With some buffer, we just need 12 inch wide and 8 inch long cloth. To make the cutting even easier, I am placing the tray upside down on the cloth and cutting around it leaving some buffer. Now just place it on the tray. It's not as easy as placing the felt mat, but I don't like the felt mat, so I feel this effort is totally worth. If the dry cloth is difficult to handle, we can just wet the cloth and use here. Now we can add seeds. I am adding super seed mix on one side. These are super seed mix greens from Aero Garden. On the other side, I am adding sunflower seeds. I am adding water now. It's good to go. Alright, it's connected to the base now. I am starting the pump so that we can see how water is flowing through the cheesecloth. Tray is almost full. Right, we can see the water is going. Water came through the cheesecloth just fine. It moved the seeds a little bit but not really an issue. Placing the domes now. Just flatten the cheesecloth so that the domes sit well. It's day one. Seeds sprouted very well. 70 to 80 percent of the seeds already germinated. Some seeds developing leaves as well. On the other side, sunflower seeds also doing well with germination. Day two. Microgreens are coming very nice with beautiful leaves. Sunflower seeds also doing fine. I see few seeds having their roots completely above the cheesecloth. I can easily push the roots down through the cheesecloth, but I don't want to enter that business. So I will leave like this and continue to monitor. Since all the seeds germinated, I don't need the domes anymore. So I am keeping it open from now. Fast forward, it's day six. Microgreens are coming very well. They are nearly one inch tall. Very few seeds, maybe one out of 50 floating at the top. But this is really negligible. On the other side, sunflower microgreens also doing pretty good. These are half inch to one inch tall and ready to consume. Couple of seeds couldn't push the roots and not growing well. But they are very few. Let me lift up the cheesecloth and show you how the roots are doing underneath. This looks wonderful. Pulling few microgreens just to see all together. Overall, cheesecloth is an excellent alternative to felt mat and it is working very well. In fact, I think it is much better than felt mat. I can start harvesting these microgreens now, but I want to continue this up to 10 days to see how cheesecloth works in long run. It's day 8. Microgreens are doing great. Most of the microgreens have grown above 1 inch. 
Sunflower microgreens also doing great. Very few seeds, I think 5 to 6 seeds didn't survive. So far so good. It's day 10, everything is going excellent. Microgreens are looking great and no issues using cheesecloth. I am going to try few more alternatives just as backup, but this is my go-to option anytime. I am going to harvest some microgreens now. Look at these beautiful microgreens. Enough nutrition for the day. That will be all. Thanks for watching. Happy Aero Gardening.